folks welcome back to an episode here at g, g outdoors. outdoors as you can see we're outdoors folks we're at one of our spots we call hilltop and we're going to be doing a little scientific experimentation today we went to our local canadian tire we actually found a bunch of different bags uh the store was actually loaded so we're definitely going to try different experimentations at other spots so stay tuned for those videos i don't know which order we're going to be putting them up for today we got vanished by wild game innovations it's made that it looks like dirt so nobody will see your hunting spot the wild game blackout versus the dirt bag from Evolve Habits. It says it's pulverized corn, but it's actually the color of earth. So both of these bags hold a lot of protein and uh, fat. We'll see which one the deer prefer. We'll see which one works better. Are the deer gonna even find it because it's brown? Who knows? We're gonna do the smell test with them. We're gonna see the taste test with them. We're gonna see which bag wins this challenge. We got the cam right over here. We're gonna put it in this little pile. We're gonna do two separate piles. How's the smell? Honestly, it smells like sweet a bit. It smells a bit like our buck energy we used to use back in the day. On this side, so what we did, we kicked up the floor as much as possible to make it visible. What we're gonna have over here, just look at the camp. We're gonna make one big pile. We're not even gonna spread it. We're gonna leave it as a full pile, the full bag. The other side, the vanish. This one smells a bit better. Really? Yeah. Smell it? Okay, that smells more like protein powder. Protein powder with Play-Doh. <laughs> I don't know if deer like Play-Doh, but we're gonna find out. They're both about the same color. This one has big chunks. And also to note, this one had more in it. So the Vanish, the Wild Game uh, Vanish, comes in a 10 pound bag, and the Evolve Habits, the Camel Corn, comes in a five pound. So you get a bit more for your money. Look at that, definitely more. Well, which one will be better guys gotta let us know pause the video right now let us know down below which one do you think will be better which one do you think will be better i'm gonna go with the vanish the vanish i didn't smell the camel corn i know deer love corn but so do raccoons so i don't know if we're gonna get different species coming to these that's my biggest worry is catching only raccoons and stuff and the squirrels before the deer even get here we'll find out real soon but the good thing is that this used to be a scrape spot back in the day if you guys were you know og g outdoors members we used to always put uh cameras here because there was always multiple scrapes we had big bucks coming before and we did still have a good trail so we're gonna I see what's on the for trail sure i am standing up right now and i could smell it oh yeah i can smell them so, <laughs> so yeah if there's a deer close by in the next 24 hours 48 hours we're gonna see we'll what leave it two through. weeks yeah. two three weeks we'll leave we'll it give it a two week test about yeah. if you guys have one that you've used already and already had success let us know which one down uh, in the comments worked for you guys you know we'll if give not, it a try we'll be back in two weeks yeah all right guys all right two weeks later two and a half what is it yeah two weeks later it's still Oops. hot as yeah. balls mosquitoes everywhere let's go take a look at what happened with the vanish versus the uh is camel it, corn is that any good we have no idea let's go take a look that good run on the floor Ooh, you can see the what on the floor you can actually see the piles there they look flat That looks raw tin. What the heck? Is that because of the water? Maybe it rained? It's not looking too good. I won't lie to you. Mosquitoes everywhere, but guys, this looks rotten as heck. That's crazy. It's so flat. Not a pile of what it used to be. I don't think deer care too much about this stuff. Well, that's why we're doing the research for you. That camp has all the information for us. We're not going to check this here because of the amount of mosquitoes. So we'll swap SDs and check it back at the house. We'll meet you at the house. So we're back at the house. What scared us is the size of the pile was, you know, it, it looks fermented. Yeah, it didn't look at all good. I don't have high hopes for this, but it is a freaking scientific experimentation. So we do have to do the good and research. the bad. Yeah. So let's, we're actually here to check out, you know, we do have some video clips. So something came through, doesn't look touched, but the it, camera is gonna tell. It is on a main trail, so maybe they just walked by it and didn't even care for it. I can't wait to click this play button because I have no idea what showed up yeah. and I want to see what came <laughs> to these stupid piles because it doesn't look too good. But okay, a scrawny raccoon. So the right side is gonna be the vanish, vanish, the big pile, and the left side is camel corn. Yeah, and as you can see, the vanish they give you more f for yeah. Oh. Okay, so raccoons are definitely in the area. But they're chilling. Are they going to the pile? Oh, he went to the camel corn. Oh, there's pieces of corn. Corn, that's why. Yeah, that makes sense. Hence why we almost never, ever, ever, and I would never say ever, oh, put yeah. corn. 
But there was little bits. Oh, yeah, look. So you're just digging? Wait, Mark, but the piles did go down because, look, it was a higher pile. Maybe it rained. It did rain. It did probably rained and pushed mm. it down. Man, that's the smallest scrawny-ass raccoon I've ever seen. Don't come back here no more. Jack, what do we have what here, guys? Coming through. And we yep. have... Yep. Something was... triggered it. Maybe a bird. Yep. Oh. Oh, it's a raccoon. raccoon. Oh, come on. <laughs> I thought it was a deer coming out of there. I'm just going to go to the next here. Oh, oh spike. Did we yeah. put it out early in the season? Oh, September. there's a deer behind too. Oh, yeah. Coming in. That's the Is other that side trail. Ball? Yeah. Because uh, this was done early season. Oh, look at the tongue. Oh, on the right. That tongue is going to town, but that's... Oh, it's gobbling up the... Uh, that's coming from the water, Mark. The camel corn. Is that grass in his mouth? Maybe it's eating... Uh, no, 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 there's like long things. Okay. And then it left. All right. And we have a false trigger here. <laughs> or maybe the trigger is terrible and it walked by. These Dasco cams aren't so oh. great. Oh my God, we're oh, raccoons. We're gonna skip. We're gonna skip because it's just stupid raccoons and more raccoons. more raccoons. The raccoon is on the corn. So if you are raccoon hunting and you want to attract raccoons, I guess you could use camel corn. Yeah, that works. It's working for raccoon. We have more raccoons than anything else. Can you bait for raccoons? I don't even know. <laughs> All right, more raccoons and more raccoons. Not what we want to see. But look at the piles. They definitely went down, but. Yeah, Probably because the rain, here. they're walking on it. Oh, there's a deer. That's a rack. Oh, that's a good buck. Is he going to go in to smell the camel corn? He's coming in. Oh, he's intrigued. Smelling it. He yeah. went to go smell the camel corn, but he's actually eating a bit of the vanish. Look how flat it is. It's like molding. Yeah, he took one lick and he said, no, thank you. <laughs> I'll, I'm on my way. I'll stick oh. with the carrots. We got a family here. Look, the fawn's just walking. Mommy just walked by. It's one fawn out of the three. As one, there's like 33% chance that's of a crazy. deer coming and lick it. Oh, and that's it. One of the fawns literally, oh, mm, no, no thank you guys. <laughs> no thank you. Save your 20 bucks. Well, ha have so you guys far. used camel corn and vanish? Let us know down below. Maybe it worked for you guys in your area, but here in Quebec, Canada. So far, uh, raccoons. We'd rather acorn rage, definitely rather sugar beet. Would rather the uh, chestnut extreme. If you didn't check out those experimentation videos, check them out in our playlist because you'll be surprised and it'll actually help you to know what to buy next and try out because we, For your deer, we've yeah. had some better luck than what's going on here. <laughs> A bit embarrassed here to show you this, but we got to show you. Oh, mom and baby, mom and fawn, and not even. No, it doesn't You're matter. smelling it. No, it's, is it my... Oh, took off running even. Wow. All right. Back to the raccoons. Who else but the raccoon? And I just skip. Okay, fawn. Not even... Did you just chill in the back there? Not interested. I mean, it, for camouflage, it does look like just like a dirt pile, which is pretty cool. But to attract... But the effectiveness raccoons. is not the best. Raccoons. You're after raccoons. I wonder, has sure. anyone bait for raccoons? We should probably can put we out night peanut hunt? butter. Can we night hunt? Just for put raccoons? Peanut butter. Yeah. Yes, we're allowed. You have to you have to let the game wardens know. But yes, you're, we're allowed at night. So imagine we put out that stuff and we just wait for raccoons. Baiting for the stupid raccoons thing at about night. us, the raccoons, there's a lot because of all the farm fields, but you can only start hunting them oh, almost November. at end of no like beginning of November. They're protected. Yeah. Oh, and we know we've had deer come through these trails usually a lot. We have a lot of bucks. It's like the deer are avoiding it. Look at that. The deer is like smelling it. <laughs> and that's us. All right. And then you can see apples on our back and carrots because we were doing another scientific experimentation just further down. That had much better results. Much better. You know what? we got to bring you the good and the bad. So if you want to waste your time and your money, <laughs> right now we're not convinced. Yeah, you know? know, if it worked for you, let us know because one thing's for sure, I can tell you, these guys ain't buying these bags no more. No. Not at another spot because not too far from here where we did the other scientific experimentation. Carrots versus apples, which is another video. We'll probably have a playlist of top for you guys. So definitely check it we out. We've got a bunch of butts. Bunch of bucks. Don't everything. Lose everything. Boxes. So something ain't right, and it's within like 80 yards of here. Literally. Yeah. So this did not work for us. We <laughs> won't be doing this, but the whole point of these videos is for this to find out do the deer come to it? Were they intrigued? Some of them were looking, you could see them smelling it. They did not like it. They tried it. 
They did not eat it, and that's why it ended up staying on the ground. And you know what? At the end of the season, it was still in the earth still there, yeah. and just all rotted. Like it was like it looked like mold, literally yeah, growing. It looked, yeah. Well, Maybe because it, it rained on it and it it wasn't good no more. I don't. But know. it's an outdoor product. Jesus. You gotta expect some sort of Look, temperature. If, you, if you're using it so people don't see that you're baiting, you're still wasting your time because you know what? It's not gonna work to attract you to deer. You know what I would do is probably put a layer of corn throw that and then throw that on top so Maybe it looks like earth, but it. the corn is inside. Ooh. Maybe, you know what? We <laughs> might retry it, who yeah. knows? Versus an acorn rage or something like yeah, that something to show crazy. you the drasticness of the difference of the deer eating it. But so far, it's a no-go. Don't waste your time, your money. Thanks to us, we just saved you 20 bucks a bag. <laughs> We'll catch you on the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.